Now to the presidential race. Vice President Harris will head to the southern border today, hoping to improve her poll numbers on immigration. While former President Trump meets with Ukraine's president today. ABC's Perry Russom has details on both. Perry, good morning. Rihanna, good morning to you. As Vice President Kamala Harris heads to the southern border, she's also speaking out against a trade deal with Mexico and Canada, a deal that former President Trump helped negotiate. Today, Vice President Kamala Harris heading to Arizona for her first trip to the southern border since becoming the presidential nominee. Harris under fire for the surge in illegal immigration during the Biden administration. Harris is expected to outline a plan to crack down on fentanyl smuggling and human trafficking while pushing for more border agents and resources. Those are all parts of the bipartisan border security bill former President Trump urged Republicans to block earlier this year. He wants to run on a problem instead of fixing a problem. Trump yesterday mocking Harris's visit to the border. There's no buddy saying, oh, gee, she's done a fabulous job. She's done the worst job probably in the history of any border. With foreign policy also looming large, Harris meeting with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky yesterday, making a thinly veiled jab at Trump. There are some in my country who would instead force Ukraine to give up large parts of its sovereign territory. They are not proposals for peace. Instead, they are proposals for surrender. Trump, who's expected to meet with Zelensky today, hitting back. It's not a surrender. Uh, what my strategy is to save lives, I want to save lives. Millions of people are dead. Trump facing a change of plans this weekend. Sources say the Secret Service told the campaign that agents do not have the manpower to secure an outdoor rally in Wisconsin, recommending an indoor event instead. Manpower stretched thin by events at the U.N. in New York this week. Federal officials today are also planning to announce criminal charges in connection with the alleged Iranian hack of Trump campaign emails, including documents used to vet his running mate. Trump has suggested Iran may have been behind the recent plots to assassinate him. Former First Lady Melania Trump in a rare interview yesterday weighing in on those assassination attempts. We hear the leaders from the opposition party and mainstream media branding him as a threat to democracy, calling him vile names. They only fueling a toxic atmosphere and giving power all of these people that they want to do harm to him. Trump and Harris also focusing on the economy. Harris now suggesting she'd make changes to the U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade deal that Trump negotiated during his first term. Harris claiming the deal made it easier for car companies to outsource American jobs. Trump not immediately responding to those claims. He's vowed to impose tariffs on companies that move American jobs to foreign countries. During a news conference yesterday, Trump also accused Harris of lying about working at McDonald's when she was a student. Harris has said that experience helps her better relate to everyday Americans. Andrew? All right, Perry, thank you.